guacamole, is this not the craziest shotgun you've ever seen in your entire life? The answer is yes. For far too long, mag-fed shotguns have had a terrible reputation uh, for being poop. Okay, uh, luckily the folks over at Genesis Arms have created one of the most metal, badass, gnarly, like, what's like the best word to describe this? It works, okay, now, you guys have seen this a plethora of times on Grand Thumbs channel. So why am I talking about this? Because this is a five inch shotgun. A five inch barrel shotgun, okay? This is brand new. I don't think this thing's out yet. Uh, none of this is out yet, right? Yeah. In fact, you know who could talk about it a little better is Cody. Cody from Genesis. This is special. It is. Well, you're holding a, a, a one-off. This was as a proof of concept to show what the capabilities of, of our system is. The short recoil, 12 gauge operation. The shotgun without the suppressor is, is roughly 21 and a half inches in overall length. With the suppressor, you're looking at 25 inches in overall length. She's so wild. What's crazy, it's a, it's a 15 round drum that actually feeds well. That's that's the part that actually shocked me the most was like, you don't really find mag fed shotguns where these work. No. And, the, <laughs> and, this, is and our, this is 3D printed. This that, isn't yeah. even the final no. one and it works. And this is roughly the size of like a D60 308 drum. So, I mean, it's not, overly sized, it's gonna be field serviceable. More details to come on that, but it's it's gonna change the game for sure. You know what this makes me think of? This seems like some kind of monstrosity you would build in Tarkov, where like, it doesn't really exist in real life, but Tarkov let you do it. Well, now it does. So you cannot let your uh, memes be dreams. Your dreams can be reality. So, uh, also fun fact, if you needed more of a reason for this thing to be proven to you, it also just won an FBI contract for their breaching shotgun. So this thing continues to just impress everybody who shoots it. I actually don't think I've ever seen anybody who's shot one of these not just like just grin ear to ear. This five inch model with this PDW stock is it's kind of hard to control on full semi with the stock oddly controllable. Like anybody could really pick this shotgun up and just send full semi rounds down down range. Let's just demonstrate. Why talk about it? We're gonna send her. Jesus Christ, dude, this <laughs> one wasn't enough. Jeez. Dives, let's, what is, what does Keemstar say? Let's get into the news. Anyway, the Onward Research Reiki rig worked phenomenally to fit these Gen 12 mags very conveniently. This specific Genesis Arms uh, Gen 12 is kind of designed as a, a unit, a, a whole, uh, package, if I'm not mistaken. Specifically, it is also designed around this, this Huxworks flow through 12 gauge can. It is a monocore design, uh, tightens up your pattern with, with buckshot. And for a five inch gun, we could hit steel out at, we hit five in a row out at a hundred yards. I, I don't even know how it's possible, but uh, it's pretty gnarly. Luckily, this is a uh, monocore titanium can. Unlike uh, other suppressors, it's not segmented, which means it's not gonna come loose and eventually blow up on you. For real, I have seen other dot gun cans out there actually blow up. I have physically seen three cans blow up, personally, on shotguns. So the fact we put like three or 400 rounds on this today, I'd say Huck Huxworks, uh, Kind of nailed that. Now, with this short model, one thing I did notice was uh, th there's a lot more heat going on here. I mean, I shot like 300 rounds back to back. I don't know if you could get it unbearably hot, but it did get hotter. Could be due to the can, but also your hand is kind of just at the combustion zone. So I, I honestly think this is kind of more of the future of, of 12 gauge shotguns because who in their right mind wants to get up there and go like, Boom, 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 and then like flip it and like try doing your quad loads. And then you, you know, you're, you're like John Wick. You could just go like this. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Galaxy brain. Obviously the goal of this stock was to reduce overall length, right? And be compact, storage, all that kind of stuff. That is a small package. I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate that there's kind of no free lunch with you know, any firearms decision for the, that matter. This is a 12 gauge shotgun, albeit it recoils less than most 12 gauge shotguns, if not all of them. What you lose with this PDW stock is you could put your chin here and, and get your chin. You don't, do you wanna go over here? It's tiny. So I'm gonna do a full auto mag dump and see how, what one I can control the recoil with for. You can obviously configure whatever Genesis Arms shotgun you have with whatever stock you want. If, you, if, if size matters to you, which honestly, I mean, that's huge, in my opinion. If like that's that's more than enough. Um, 
it's a dick joke. But before we get into this content, we have to thank Optics Planet. Optics Planet is offering you guys a coupon code MICA7 because they love you and our government tells us we have 7% inflation even though we know it's like 700% inflation. Second sponsor for today's video is Shooting Surplus. If you don't use the coupon code MICA7 over at Shooting Surplus, then you probably have pronouns in your bio and you uh, dyed your hair purple. I don't know, you're too old to figure out how to use the internet. They're some of my favorite, best in the biz. And final sponsor for this video is Americana Pipe Dream. If you want some sick Alpenflage, Flectarn, Omani, DPM, camos you can't even get. Foreign governments are calling them because they have camos that are so rare. Head over to Americana Pipe Dream and use the coupon code BUSSY. Lastly, if you hate money, which you do because you got into firearms and that's obviously your hobby and you wouldn't get into firearms if you liked money, uh, we have Last Shot as our ammo sponsor. Guys, they have the coupon code PUH! <laughs> in there for you guys. It was the stupidest thing. I got goosebumps, that was so cringy. But that's the coupon code, it's just plug. Uh, they don't charge you tax outside of Arizona and the shipping's free over 250, so that's just crazy cheap ammo for, for, for you guys with that coupon code. Test between the two, here we go. It almost feels dirty to say like, oh, that, that, that has more recoil because it still, it had, it felt like it had no recoil. Forgot that wasn't suppressed, it kind of startled me. I thought something was wrong. <laughs> I stopped right away. That, uh, dude, I just got like a hot flash. I thought like the gun blew up or something because I was used to shooting the suppressor all day. Now we're gonna talk about my favorite thing from the Genesis Arms guys that I've seen in a long time. Cody, you could probably talk. I, I, I didn't design this, so I can't really talk about it. You wanna talk about that? Like you mentioned earlier, this one is our 3D printed prototype. It's gonna be field serviceable. These clips can come off. You'll be able to take off the back plate. We wanted something that was compact. We didn't want it to be if you look at the 12 gauge segment, it's they're all big mags. Part of that is why we went with a 15 round to I, reduce that. I almost like that more than this, just right. because of the, the length. Yeah, so going prone, you're yeah. gonna be able to get a little bit lower. Yeah. It's a little more maneuverable, even though it's wider, so for like bag storage, you know, like you might run a five rounder in the gun and then I mean it's easier to store these on your on your person, obviously. Yeah. But but for a first mag, this is definitely the way to go. I mean, honestly, and it just looks cool, which looking cool is like 90% of the battle, right? Could you imagine breaking into somebody's house? You're like, oh, I'm totally gonna rob them, and then this is just pointed at you around the corner, and you just see this giant drum mag, 12 gauge suppressed gun. Like, you're getting out of there. Not alive, but you're getting out of there. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do something silly, and I don't know if I'm that excited for it. The same people who make the, uh, the Dragon's Breath rounds, they also make these things called Terminator slugs. 515 grain slugs going at 1,520 feet per second. It says extreme defense for all situations, no matter what. On the back, <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, so I actually don't even wanna be the first person to shoot this nasty thing. Do you wanna shoot it? All right. All right, we'll load up a mag with like Buck, a normal slug, and then the, the Terminator slug. Yep. All right, so Charles is gonna shoot the uh, the gauntlet of, of 12 gauge rounds so out of this thing. The first one is Buck. I'm, uh, I'm relying on your American made. That wasn't bad. Regular slug? That wasn't bad at all. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Felt that way more. I mean, overall, slug. it was still extremely comfortable, <laughs> but could, dude, you, could I, you imagine firing that out of like an 870? Can you just imagine a that pump shotgun? Oh my god. <laughs> After seeing that fireball and that, that sound, I'm like not excited to do this at all. Same rounds, buck, slug, slug. Buck, slug. Actually, the buck had more oomph than the, than the slug even. Terminator slug. I hope that audio is doing it justice on the camera because what we're hearing is like, I feel like I just got a TBI, like with how much concussion and, and, and explosive energy there was there. All right, cameraman Dan. <laughs> Dude, it's noticeable, man. That's mega slug, megalodon slug. All right, now we have Goliath from the Bible. Okay, you literally <laughs> didn't even budge. Bro, what are you, like six? For size comparison, this is Charlie standing upright. I'm 6'1". <laughs> so know what's up with these Phoenix Rising Exotic Ammunition Company names, but now we have the Sledgehammer Slug. 
So we had like, what was this, the Megalodon or Terminator. Terminator slug? This one, I thought this was crazy. This one was like a 580 grain. This is a 685 grain. Extremely deep cavity, large hollow point, three degrees stabilizing fins exclusive friction reducer, maximum penetration and expansion. It's a dick joke. These guys can't be American. I, I saved these rounds for like a special shotgun video, but I think that this is like the worst shotgun to do this in because I really wanted it to destroy someone's shoulder. And it does have a lot of recoil, but it's like not giving me the results that I wanted. So we'll see, who knows? Maybe this 685 grainer is gonna be gnarly. So we got Buck, regular slug, Megalodon slug. Jesus. All right, now I don't know what this one's gonna do. 685 grain hollow point. <laughs> that was nasty. All right, so we have given Charlie two of the sledgehammer slugs. You wanna fire it just as fast? It's the sluggish, ruggish slug. <laughs> I don't even know what this video has turned into at this point. It was supposed to be like an informative video about the Gen 12 five inch breaching shotgun, but now I literally just can't stop loading mags and shooting it. So I have an issue down here. I see some people set up some targets and on this channel, we really just can't have that. Is it Justin Bieber? Oh. Was it good? Is yeah, it didn't like my light. Light came off. <laughs> Wait, it did? <laughs> This gun is semi-automatic. That was kind of crazy splits for a 12 gauge, was it not? I thought you were bump firing. No, that was me pulling the trigger. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Let's wrap it up. What do you think uh, the end all be all that you want to communicate to the audience? Okay, so <clears throat> at the time that this video gets released, this entire idea of a five inch barreled shotgun with a suppressor was a proof. A proof that one, we do make the ultimate shotgun. This particular shotgun is 25 inches from the muzzle to the collapsed stock there. So 25 inches for a shotgun uh, being suppressed is incredibly small. The MCS originally, and even our AOW breaching shotgun is 24 inches roughly. So that's only an inch longer and you're gonna have a suppressed version. And you were shooting it suppressed and unsuppressed both in the five inch barrel configurations. And what'd you think? I think five inches is massive. <laughs> Dick joke. I'm 100% going to take the suppressed version in my personal opinion. I mean, you saw me shoot that without the suppressor and it kind of took me off guard. Like this thing really tames that concussive force of a 12 gauge. Like it's still sick, but man, like I would take this any day. Yeah, and, and that's what I wanted to communicate is, is that 12 gauge suppressors, it's a whole new, it's a new thing. Never before has there been a reasonable host to suppress in 12 gauge. Everything's been tube fed, so you have 14 and a half inch guns, you add a long 12 inch can. This can's only about six inches or so long, so this gun is extremely compact, but we're eating that bite out of the five inch barrel with that suppressor, but we're getting tighter groups with buckshot. It's still maintaining incredible accuracy out to 100 yards. So uh, muzzle velocity too on th 1300 feet per second, federal low recoil slugs, we're still in the mid 1000s. So 1050, 1060 feet per second, which is insane considering you're shooting out of a five inch barrel. It's just not what you would expect. So we really wanted to shift the paradigm. We brought this out as a proof that we do make the ultimate shotgun. There is never gonna be another shotgun company building a semi-auto correction, uh, semi-full. How do you say that? Full semi? Full semi. <laughs> uh, it just isn't gonna exist. And so- I like that confidence. Yeah, it just isn't gonna exist. So to do a major flex, we built this, we showed it. Uh, it, it was intended initially as a, a professional setup for breaching or any other applications that the professional end user might need. But I have a feeling that uh, our commercial market is gonna be interested. Piqued my interest with it. I saw, I saw this for the first time and I'm like, when can I film that? I need to do a video on that. And I've played with Genesis Arms uh, other shotguns in the past, but this five inch just kicks it up a notch. Seriously, like yeah. this thing is gnarly. But uh, no, dude, thanks for letting me shoot your shotguns. And I mean, we shot the piss out of these shotguns yeah. today. We almost put like 500 rounds of, of 12 gauge through these things. I'm, uh, I'm very fortunate enough to be able to take part in a ton of videos, shoot a ton of guns. Right, all that jazz. This is one of the most fun videos I've done in a while, just because when I shoot this with all different types of ammo um, on full semi or semi, it's just, I shoot it and I just smile. Like, you know, when you put it on full semi, it's, it's so comfortable to shoot that you forget it's a shotgun sometimes and you ease up 
and uh, you just look, you look like a dork. I don't know. It's it's sick, man. I'm uh, I'm super happy I moved here just in time to to shoot this again. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for the shotguns, and uh, I love you. I didn't do sponsors at all, did I? No.